Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Hello, podcasting world. This is Matt, and I'm joined by the most illustrious grandmaster of travel, Rachel. Hey there. Yes, and this is the coolest stuff on the planet. Yes, it is. And Matt, speaking of cool stuff, I really think you're going to like today's topic. Oh, I know I'm going to like today's topic, but why don't you tell me what it is? Well, I'll give you a hint, okay? It involves bears and blown up stuff. Ah, so naturally you're speaking of Katmai National Park, located in southwestern Alaska. Katmai National Park is famous for brown bears, uh, rivers chock full of fish, beautiful wilderness, and volcanoes. And volcanoes. In 1912, Katmai's Novarupta volcano erupted. <laughs> I'm glad that the Novarupta got to erupt, because if it didn't, then it would be... It'd be an unfulfilled little volcano. Terribly named. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, it erupted and it's just spewing ash and it darkened the skies for days and it actually caused the top of Mount Katmai to collapse in. So this huge, enormous explosion, um, which by the way, Matt, was the largest in the entire 20th century. It created a volcanic valley, a 40 square mile area of ash. Mm -hmm. And it's called uh, the Valley of 10,000 Smokes. It's actually one of Katmai's uh, most popular attractions. One of the first people to see this valley was a botanist named Robert Griggs. So uh, he is on an expedition for the National Geographic Society in 1916. It's uh, the second of two, by the way. Because mm -hmm, the first one was in 1915, right? Exactly. But he stumbled upon the valley, and this is how he described it. I can never forget my sensations at the sight which met my eyes as I looked down the valley. Stretching as far as the eye could reach were hundreds, no, thousands of little volcanoes. Many of them were sending up columns of steam which rose a thousand feet before dissolving. And these little volcanoes that he described were, are actually called um, fumaroles, which okay. are uh, vents that allow volcanic gases and steam to escape. Um, today, actually, no more of the, uh, the fumaroles don't actually smoke anymore, sadly. But they put Katmai on the map anyway, and they, uh, they basically led to its designation as a national monument, right? And uh, I believe that was 1918? Mm -hmm. And then it became a national park in 1980. Okay, so now that we've got the history down, let's talk a little bit about the park itself. Uh, it's, it's an extremely remote place, uh, not accessible by road. You actually have to take a plane, uh, a, f a float plane, as they call it, in. Right? That's the kind that actually goes on the water. You have to land on the water. Mm -hmm, like an in Indiana Jones. Yes, very plane. much like that. Yeah. Um, the park is also famous for its brown bear population, which is, um, is actually the largest in the world. And... The reason there are lots of bears is because there's an annual, um, the salmon spawn every year. Actually, they're sockeye salmon, or mm -hmm. red salmon, they spawn every year, and so that attracts the bears. So the park actually has um, three designated um, platforms from okay. which you can see bears in the park. Oh, that's cool. When they're, when they're catching the salmon. Yeah, because you don't want to be near them, because these are not care bears, everyone. Uh, these are actually... Alaskan brown bears. And these guys, they average about 800 pounds. Yikes. And they can get up to 10 feet tall when they stand up on their hind legs. The largest, one of the largest ones that uh, has ever been found was 1,500 pounds. Yikes, that's huge. Well, the, um, the main place, actually, the main campground at Katmai is called Brooks Camp. And is actually near the Brooks River where the bears feed. Mm -hmm. And at the park, they take the um, they take these bears very seriously, obviously, yes. because they don't want too many, or any, probably bear-human conflicts. Matt, I don't know if you knew this. This is an interesting little tidbit, but okay. every visitor to the campground is required to take a bear etiquette training course. Like I don't understand what, just what you what you do around bears, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like how you behave around bears, the safest ways, the probably it's the safest distance to be from bears, stuff like that. Nice. I did not know that, but you know what I did know. What do you know? Uh, Werner Herzog, actually, he's an awesome German uh, writer and director of films. Mm -hmm. He made a tragic documentary called Grizzly Man that I very much enjoy, and the majority of which takes place in Katmai Park. There's a whole bunch more we could say about this uh, this park because it's amazing, mm -hmm. um, but that's all the time we have. Um, if you'd like to learn more about this wonderful park, you can head to HowStuffWorks.com and type Katmai National Park in the handy search bar. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes. <laughs>